Hey, Kira. Oh, hello. Mind if I sit next to you? What are you working on? Just sketching some things. Cool. What kind of things? The characters I created. You made them up? That's awesome. So, who is this girl? I haven't thought about it yet. I only drew her based on inspiration. Let's give her a story. Hmm. I can help you make one. Okay. Hmm, I see. Someone cool and mysterious. That's a good idea. Quiet and mysterious characters are one of my favorite types. Mine too. Okay, with every good character, there needs to be a cool backstory. Do you have any ideas? Maybe she's a noble woman who wanted more out of her life. She has all these expectations weighed on her, but her dreams have nothing to do with her nobility. Well, that's a good start. What do you think she wants instead? I don't know yet. It'd be cool if she was into something totally opposite to what's expected of her. Even though she was raised as a noble, she wants to be a person who fights for others and protects them. Ah, so like a knight. Yeah, exactly. I like that. Now we need an actual story. So, there was a noble woman who wanted more out of her life. Her parents didn't approve of her wanting to learn how to sword fight, so she did it in secret. Over the years, she became a skilled fighter, but no one knew. Until one day... She decides to turn from her noble life and do what she loves. That's a good idea. She'll have to discover her own roots and how to fend for herself. Yeah, exactly. It leaves a lot of room for character development. I can see why you're always sketching characters now. You can? Yeah, it's actually really fun to create stories for people. It really is. You don't normally do this, do you? I draw a lot of characters, but the majority of them don't get used. What about when you're creating mangas? I come up with the story first. I like this way more though. Oh yeah? How come? She feels less one-dimensional. Understanding her motivations gives me a better appreciation of who she is. It's too easy to learn one thing about a person and assume that's who they are. When that happens often enough, everyone begins to seem one-dimensional. Sounds like that can be exhausting. Sometimes, but you get used to it. The worst part is how you find yourself doing the same thing they do. That's silly. You're very obviously three-dimensional. How do you mean? Well... You're cute, smart, and talented. Three-dimensional. I don't know about all that, but thank you. I should probably get back soon. Yeah, me too. Thank you for building this story with me. Of course. Maybe we can continue it together. It can be our little project. I'd like that.
Oh, hey, Kira. Hey, were you walking towards the gardens? Yeah, I am. Are you? Cool. Want to head there together? Sure. Let's keep walking down the path. I hear there are some beautiful cherry blossoms down this way. Okay. Uh... What is it? Oh, it's nothing. I just never noticed there were so many birds here. Strange. Where did all these animals come from? I'm not sure. It's a garden, so there are a lot of animals anyway. I think I see the cherry blossoms in the distance. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it is. This is crazy. Have you ever seen so many animals before? Yes, we're in nature. Kira, you didn't tell me you were a Disney princess. Disney princess? Isn't this strange? I don't know. I always notice animals around me. But it's weird how many are here at once. Especially a deer. They typically really shy and bold at the slightest noise. Oh, well, I don't know. Must be because of your demeanor. You're so calm and gentle. The animals probably show themselves because they feel safe around you. Really? Yeah, I feel it too. I'm sure it's because they can sense harmful intentions, and we don't have any. Hmm, I think it's more than that. I've never had animals follow me around the way they follow you. It must be luck. It seems like you like them as much as they like you. I've always felt at peace among the animals. They don't care who you are, as long as you're not a threat. That's true. They don't judge people the same way people judge people. How did you do that? Do you want to try? Yeah. You just have to be calm and patient. It's not working. Just wait. Hey, look, I'm doing it. Oh, darn. That was still well done. I had a good teacher. I 
I think the animals must like you too, or else they wouldn't stay. That's a nice thought. Thanks, Kira. Although, we should probably head back. Yeah, before the animals change their mind and leave. <laughs> 